All of the dental procedures you will see in this video are performed by Pet Dental Services Trained Hygienist. Pet Dental Services is the only provider of non-anesthetic dentals that has participated in clinical research studies and has been published in several journals and publication. As a veterinary professional, you've no doubt seen clients suffering from the devastating effects of periodontal disease. With the majority of dogs and cats ages two or older exhibiting some level of dental disease progression, just how many of your clients are purchasing oral health services or have an awareness of the importance of it to their pet's health? Are opportunities passing you by to get client compliance for maintenance of dental health and prevention of disease? Are you providing your clients with all available levels of services concerning their pet's oral health? Or is that opportunity, revenue, and pet in need of dental care slipping through your fingers? Pet Dental Services invites you to offer our non-anesthetic dental program as a part of your practice services. You'll join the more than 400 veterinary practices already participating in the U.S. Pet Dental Services hygienists work only under supervision of licensed veterinarians with a proprietary 11-step process known as Professional Outpatient Preventative Dental, or POPD. To help you decide if POPD is right for your practice, here are answers to the most frequently asked questions we get from veterinarians. Is POPD medically effective? Absolutely. POPD is effective for the prevention and maintenance of good oral health in cats and dogs. It serves as a complement to your anesthetic dental procedures. The thorough process includes periodontal probing, supergingival scaling, subgingival curatage, machine polishing, and irrigation of all surfaces. How do you know if a pet will sit still for the procedures? We pre-screen every pet before the procedure, checking for the gait and any discomfort that may come from the dental positions during the procedure. Personality and disposition are also taken into account. The veterinarian has final say on if the pet is an appropriate candidate for the non-anesthetic dental procedure. We use a patient, gentle approach and slowly introduce each phase of the procedure, sitting at eye level with the pet and using a variety of proprietary positions to maintain control but not stress the animal nor inhibit the swallow reflex. Many veterinarians say they're amazed the first time they observe the procedure and discover it is indeed possible to watch pets peacefully cooperate during the procedure. Our trained staff will know within minutes if a pet isn't a good candidate. Additionally, they are trained to recognize poor candidates due to severity of disease, caries, fractured teeth or stomatitis, and will immediately alert the supervising veterinarian during the initial exam and history review. What are the 11 steps? Our team begins with the required medical and behavioral history form completed prior to each procedure. We also review prior records. Next, we perform the pre-screening to evaluate if the pet is an appropriate candidate for non-anesthetic dental services. After approval by the veterinarian, we complete an extra-oral and intra-oral exam, checking for symmetry, swelling, or pain, and examining each tooth individually. The treatment plan is generated via the Pet Dental Services Hygienist, Doctor, and Client Partnership. Treatment plans include what happens now, home treatment, referral to anesthetic procedures, or follow-up non-anesthetic treatment in the future. Next up, we have supergingival scaling, subgingival scaling, post-dental probing, and a machine polish followed by a thorough oral rinse. We conclude with an evaluation of the work afterwards and detailed charting. Communication to veterinary staff of our evaluation and findings. And the final step is client education and case review. Tell me more about the scaling, curatage, probing, and polishing. What are you really able to do? 
The procedure begins with the removal of the supra-gingival deposits of plaque and calculus from the buccal, lingual, and interproximal surfaces. We use a combination of forceps, hand instruments, and power scaling. Then, plaque and calculus is removed from the subgingival areas. If we determine in our pre-exam that disease is stage 3 or stage 4, we usually refer the patient over for anesthetic dentistry. The fact is, all of our veterinarians find adding us to their services has not only broadened patient reach for all oral services, it has actually increased the number of anesthetic procedures they perform due to internal referrals from the pet dental services team. The two departments closely work together on evaluating which is most suited to the patient. For probing, we perform a six-point probing of each tooth, checking pocket depths and carefully charting progression and recession. We use a pumice base profi base for polishing to smooth out the enamel from any imperfections we may have caused, using an oscillated profi angle to avoid tangling pet hair during this step. Have you found this technique to be effective with high-risk patients? Absolutely! Non-anesthetic dental cleanings are a much better alternative for older pets and animals with chronic kidney, liver, or heart disease. They may be at risk under anesthesia. Explain how you work with my team and how I am able to supervise your hygienist. Pet Dental Services is a cohesive member of your team with constant two-way communication each step of the way and detailed record keeping. They are trained to assist you and your staff with client education regarding their pet's oral health, going over the final report, recommended hospital dental products, and showing owners proper brushing techniques for their pet. How does adding Pet Dental Services to my practice help my bottom line? All of our partner veterinarians see an increase in patients reached due to our middle price point, which appeals to some people who previously refused dental work. This service creates clients newly committed to regular maintenance and prevention of dental disease, driving follow-up visits. Our partnered veterinarians also find an increase in sales of ancillary services or products offered at their facility. And, as mentioned earlier, the increased patient flow in the area of oral services translates into an increase in anesthetic dentistry procedures due to our screenings and internal referrals. I don't have a lot of time for training and my marketing budget is small. How do we add pet dental services to my practice despite those challenges? Pet dental services startup process is simple. Go to our website at www.petdentalservices.com and click on the Veterinarians tab to fill in your information. Or give us a call at 866-561-6717. Next, we'll set up a complimentary lunch and learn demonstration for you and your staff. If you proceed, a Pet Dental Services representative will set up your practice with marketing materials to meet your hospital's individual needs. Your staff will be trained as to how our service works. And finally, a non-anesthetic dental day is agreed upon and your hospital can start booking appointments. Still have questions? No problem. You can contact us further in several ways. Email us at info at petdentalservices.com or give us a ring at 866-561-6717. We appreciate your consideration and thank you for your time.